Also, a payout that has not come. Dayton is supposed to get half a million dollars for hosting the new Racino. But a disagreement over where that money should come from has left the city empty handed so far. Jordan Burgess getting answers about what it will take for the city to finally get paid. Jordan? I took that question to those working on an agreement. They say with each passing day, it gets more challenging to see a solution happening. So we wanted to know what the holdup is. What was once a sure bet is now facing longer odds. My concern is that Dayton gets the money that's coming to it. By law, Dayton is supposed to get half a million dollars each year as the host city for the Hollywood Gaming at Dayton Raceway facility that opened in August. But now it's possible the city won't get that first payment by the end of this year. So we called Mayor Nam Whaley, who's in Washington, D.C., at a conference to ask about it. Is there any chance that the city wouldn't get this money? Uh, well, if no one pays, yes. I mean, I think if, if, if we don't have the money by the end of the year, uh, I think that becomes problematic because then it becomes a court issue and then the city would have to spend money in the court to try to get this money. So why isn't someone paying up? We called State Senator Bill Beagle, who's working on getting Dayton the money. He says everyone agrees Dayton is owed the money. The problem is whether it will be new money paid by Penn Gaming, which owns the raceway, or money Penn has already paid to the state. Whaley says she isn't as concerned about the source, just that the city gets the money it's counting on. It's in our budget, so it would require us to make some changes into our budget, and it is. It's nothing as, you know, it's nothing to sneeze at. It's a, a significant amount of money to the city of Dayton. We also reached out to Penn Gaming to get their side of it. A spokesperson says they're in discussions about the payment, but didn't want to go into details at this point while the talks are ongoing. And Senator Beagle says along with talks, he's working on legislation that would get Dayton the money. But with the Ohio legislature likely done for the year next week, time is running out to get something passed. Jordan Burgess, 2 News, working for you.